Many people think that natural gas underground can simply be pumped out by inserting a pipe, but it's far more complicated than that. First, workers have to find where the gas is located. They use special seismic trucks to send sound waves into the ground. These waves bounce back when they hit different rock layers, and by analyzing the reflections, experts can map out the underground structure and pinpoint the coal seam that contains the gas. Next comes drilling. Powerful rigs slowly bore down from the surface, sometimes reaching reaching depths of 4,000 meters. As the drill goes deeper, workers continuously reinforce the well walls with steel pipes and cement to prevent collapse or leakage. However, the gas in coal seams isn't free-flowing. It's trapped, clinging tightly to the surface of the coal itself. On top of that, the seams are often filled with groundwater, which blocks the gas from escaping. To release it, engineers usually rely on two main methods. The first is hydraulic fracturing. Workers inject a special fluid into the coal seam to widen and extend tiny cracks in the rock. The fluid carries propants, grains of quartz sand or ceramic pellets, that hold the cracks open, allowing the gas to flow through these new channels and up to the surface. The second method is dewatering and pressure reduction. A separate well is drilled to pump out groundwater from the coal seam. As the water is removed, the pressure drops. Once it falls below a certain point, the gas begins to detach from the coal and flow outward. The pumping rate must be carefully controlled cold, too fast, and the coal seam might deform or collapse, too slow, and the gas won't be released efficiently. After all these complex steps, the natural gas that has been trapped deep underground for millions of years is finally brought to the surface, ready to power our world.